Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry if you can hear that. My uh, sister's going out on a date, and this is the final part of the trip down memory lane series. Yeah, I'm gonna close the door on it forever. There's a bunch of hair there, and I thought I'd do it by reviewing Jurassic Park Three. You will very often hear this movie get called the worst movie in the franchise, and believe me, it is. It's definitely the weakest of all of the first three movies. Um, but I do have some positives about it. Oh, crap, I forgot what they were. Um, it was directed by Joe Johnston. Um, he did an alright job of directing it. This was the series' first introdu canon introduction of the Spinosaurus. I kind of feel bad for it. It got a lot of hate and a lot of fanboys. Me not being one of them at first. But I learned to like him later on, like the San Diego scene from The Lost World. Um, Sam Neill returned in it, so that's a pretty big positive. And so did Laura, Laura Dern, but... And another... I'll get to that later. Um... Also, guys, I, I took down the uh, Torturing My Sister video because I didn't think it was very nice. Um, and anyway, back to this movie. The raptor design in this one is probably my favorite one. Um, the males, they have the really dark blue with the red crest on their head. And after the first two movies came out, they discovered that Velociraptors had feathers, so they tried to add that in a little bit. Um, it also had appearances of new dinosaurs in it. Um, the Spinosaurus I already told you guys about. Um, what other ones? Ankylosaurus that made his first appearance in this movie. Corythosaurus, you can see when they're running from the raptors and they're running into the parasaurs. And real closely, you can see that there are a bunch of Corythosaurus in it. You can also see the Corythosaurus in the scene where they're flying over the island in the plane. We see all the herds of dinosaurs beneath them. And... Oh, Ceratosaurus, that was the other one. Um, <laughs> Cerat Ceratosaurus, they only threw in because that scene was supposed to have a Carnotaurus in it instead of Ceratosaurus, but Disney took the name Carnotaurus and put it in their 2000 film, Dinosaur. And it just looked like a, t a red T-Rex with horns rather than a true Carno. A true Carno was what we saw in the Lost World novel and in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, um, there's the birdcage scene. That's a pretty big positive. That's probably my favorite scene in this movie. Uh, uh, oh. Um... Okay, that's a Zod. The original logo has a Spinosaur on it than the, rather than the T-Rex. Who freaking made this this case? It's supposed to be a Spinosaur. Um, now we have all those out of the way. I'm, I'm going to talk about a couple of negatives I have with the film. There are lots of them. Um... Just like The Lost World, the pacing is off a lot more. Um, the acting is terrible. The Kirby, Amanda Kirby is by far the worst character in this franchise. She is just annoying. Every scene you see her, she is either freaking out about something or doing something really stupid. I'm not kidding. Literally every scene she's in, she's doing something stupid. And she screams a lot, but not as much as that annoying willy lady from Temple of Doom. She was... She made my ears bleed. Um, and the CGI in this movie is not at all as good as the ones from the other movie. Movies. Um, I already mentioned in the scene where they're flying over the island. <laughs> it looks like leftover animations from one of the Land Before Time movies. Um, but I do like the ending to this movie. The ending of this movie is really good. Uh, the Kate, all the two pteranodons, they're flying away from... Okay. 
In this case, there's a huge crack in it. Um, the pteranodons are flying away from Isla Sorna. It's just so oddly majestic. I really like that. Um, uh, again, probably the worst scene. And this movie is ridiculously cheesy. Like, there's a scene towards the be towards the sec beginning of the second act second act where doc grants in the plane and he's sleeping and he has this weird really weird dream really weird and really stupid where he wakes up and he sees that the plane's empty he looks to the right and there's a raptor that says alan I wanted to break my screen so much. And then there's another, and probably the most controversial scene in the whole franchise, is the T-Rex and Spinosaurus fight. What can I say about it? It's ridiculously cheesy. It's ridiculously stupid. Uh... Yeah, T-Rex should have easily won. It, I've already seen the Nostalgia Critic go on a rant about this. There's a giant hair right there. Dang it, Berlin. Um, I hated that so much. Even though I did like the Spinosaurus later on after Mattel released that giant legacy figure, I really liked it. Um, and some of the CGI is good. Uh, oh, then there's the Brachiosaurus. I really don't like the Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaurus. They look ugly. Um, oh my god, girls, shut up. Um, the top of their heads is red. That's probably the only thing about them. Um, it's a weird... They they look like a weird coloration of... Uh, moss and butter. That's kind of what they look like. That's kind of what the color scheme looked like. Um... Also, we had to wait 14 years... After this movie came out, we had to wait 14 years for another Jurassic Park movie. But I was born in 2005, so I only had to wait like nine. Um, um, and Spiel Steven Spielberg co-directed it. He didn't direct it. Co-directed it. Um, the Raptors and the Pteranodons are probably the biggest positive I can get to this movie. This movie is probably the most famous Pteranodon scene in the franchise, and it's something even I heard about just by never seeing the movie. Uh, so this is going to be the final video of the Trip Down Memory Lane series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... Again, I'd like to give a huge thank you to Dinos Dinosaur Discovery. He's a really awesome guy, and I highly suggest you check out his channel. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, tell me what you all thought of this movie. I personally both liked and hated it. Um, again, if again, tell me what you want to see more of in this series in on my channel. Because I have a lot more videos planned for the future. So anyway, see you guys later. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss another video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.